What's up guys? We're here at Jay's house and we're finally gonna tune the car. So this is the kit you get from Delicious Tuning. Uh, he just texted me and said, hold up. This is the thing that goes to your OBD2 port. This goes to this little thing and then it goes to the computer. So there was two previous steps that we did um, before to tune this car. Uh, the first step was uh, you need to download the software onto the laptop that Jay will bring out. Uh, once you get that, you send the software ID to Delicious Tuning to activate your software. Once they activate your software, which I didn't film this part, you connect this down to your OBD2 port. It's like down there somewhere. It just goes up. Um, and then you get the ECU identification or the ID. Um, and it, it, it's like, it literally just like says like the year, your car, the VIN number, uh, like the ECU number, whatever the hell. Uh, you get all that from the ECU, I guess. So you send them that and then they send you the tune. They sent us the tune finally. So we're going to go ahead and upload it, I guess. So we'll show you guys that process right now. And we'll see if the car feels any faster. Hmm. We got the real OG popping in. So what does it say, Jay? It's copy paste tune, dude. Copy paste tune from Delicious Tuning, bro. Doing that. We're doing that J tune, dog. <laughs> yeah. It says transmission fluid high temperature. No, because the car's not even on. But yeah, I guess you just click flash it and then you drag the file and copy paste. And you copy, yeah, you put the copy paste tune in. Yeah. Uh yeah, apparently the tune's done like 20 seconds later. It took right here it says it took about a not even a minute, six fifty seconds. Do 50 we 50 seconds or so? Do we think we're gonna feel a difference, dog? I'm pretty suspect, dude. I don't I really I don't, don't know. Not think it's the E five. What's up? Not to get the E85 tune. Yeah, yeah, we gotta get the E85 tune. I mean, they claim I think 15, 25 wheel horsepower and like 15 we torque. Should be able to feel it a little bit, but I don't know. It's don't hot know. today, so. Yeah, we'll see, man. I don't know. Let's let's go take it for a ride and see see how we like this. Let's see if it sounds any different. Probably not. It shouldn't sound any different. Well, it, the exhaust. it kind of uh, it kind of trouble turning on, so I think that probably totally is tuned like freaked out a little bit i don't know what everyone's see what it does there's nothing jay what do you think it's gonna feel like the same same not really much It feels like it pulled a little faster though. It feels like it scared. pulls a little bit more, yeah, but the trans. I think it feels stronger actually. I mean, you've driven the car before, maybe we should switch yeah. and then you can. This passenger seat always feels stronger, so. Yeah. Because I actually I made sure earlier when I left the gym, I had here in Mexico, I had the. Um, see, let me make sure that's the same height so that's not like an effect. When I left the gym, it was pretty much just as hot, and I still had the AC on, and I did like a pull just to see how the car felt. You know what's nice though? Just leave it in automatic, see how it shifts. Try that. Just see how it shifts. Yeah, fuck it, let's try it. Do we see any cops? Like, it's all your federalis. <laughs> the, um, so the check engine light is on, that's not off, that's nice. They supposedly don't take off check engine lights, so. I don't know if the ECU just hasn't seen the... You know what's weird about it? It definitely pulls harder, but... And you'll feel it when you drive it. We'll, we'll switch off over here somewhere. We actually do need gas. Um, we'll get gas, I guess. The, um... Right when you shift, bro? The, uh... It feels like it cuts timing, like it cuts power. Mm -hmm. So like like it like it like it's like pulling harder, but then it shifts and it like kind of falls flat on its face for like a second or two, and then it starts pulling hard again. Yeah, I don't know. You know your car better than I do, so I mean, that's how it feels to me. Like it's for sure faster, but the thing is, like, if the car is faster, but if you get that lag after every gear shift of a second to a second and a half. That'll negate 
all the freaking yeah the game yeah the, or you'd even lose like say you, you race the same car like yeah you might be getting him but then you're gonna lose space on the shifts but we had we just uploaded the two so maybe the car has to learn it or something yeah if you remember how the camaro went it just kept getting faster and faster till finally till it finally stopped it was like faster. what like a week later <laughs> your car though i remember when you had the uh the f body he we'll, we'll film it in a bit the uh I don't even want to change the angle a little bit so like they get a little more. It don't matter. But uh, yeah, he tuned his F body. He literally kept getting faster every day. When I tuned, it was just. I mean, it was pretty fast, but then it was like, eh, it wasn't like great. Yeah, right there. Right there. Let's see how long it takes. It didn't lag on that one. That's probably really learning a little bit. It's quicker though. That's it's totally worth the 300 bucks. I mean, like, people were paying what, like, $700 for the RR tune? I've raced cars with the RR tune before I had headers. The cars had like headers, intake, um, RR racing tune, and I just had a GT house cap bag. And I was like, right with him, we're gapping him. Guys, we're here leaving uh, the Pemex gas station, and uh, actually runs in Mexico. <laughs> we're here leaving the Pemex by Chevron gas station, and uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this feels, man. now on the passenger seat. How does it feel on your end now that you're driving it? I mean... You haven't driven the car in a while. Yeah, it feels kind of the same, to be honest. I don't know. It feels the same? Maybe slightly. Do you feel the lag on shifts? I felt it. Not so much. I think it's from first to second gear, really. I think I felt it a little bit. Did you feel any, any lag? We're not really going above more than first to second. Yeah, it's true, man. <laughs> Make sure there's no cops around here. That's pretty sick. Oh, shit. Feels pretty good from here, man. We'll, uh, we'll see how she feels in the next couple of days you know if you, if you want a car driven I drive it but if you want it driven driven let Jay drive it feels good yeah. it should, should feel uh, better with the U85 once that goes through Excited for that. I mean, totally worth the 300 bucks, I would say. I mean, if you're gonna tune your RCF, definitely get the delicious tune. It sounds a little different. I don't know if it's because the headers. I haven't driven it with the headers. Ah, uh, no, yeah, it's for sure different sounding because of the headers. Like I can hear it, but it's in the front. I can hear. I think it's when like the headers like. I mean, just echoing kind of in a way. I'm sure it's blowing up or something, probably. You have warranty. Ah, no, not anymore. It ended like last week. Well, yeah, because I, I hit 50,000 miles. I think that's the... Uh, unless it's 60. That would be nice if it was 60. Probably don't want to floor it here. <laughs> episode you guys get um us riding around in my first sports car that i sold jay like 10 years ago <laughs> pretty sick Oh, we got 
mode. Well, it's because of the headers. Yeah. Are we going to get new headers soon now that the TPSS is running? Basically. What are we going to get? Pokers, pace setters? I don't know. I'll probably go with just TSP. I don't know. I don't know how much I want to spend. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm not trying to spend like big amounts of money. Yeah, I, I want to say the same thing, but that kind of sailed for me this year. Yeah. <laughs> Too much money in mods, man.